Oh, hey. Welcome to the vaultproscooters.com YouTube channel. Thanks for subscribing, because we know you already have. Right now, you're about to watch another unboxing for the long-awaited 2016 King of Spades line. This time, we're going to be unboxing the heist. So let's dive right into it. The 2015 heist was a really good complete, but they made sure to even one-up themselves with the 2016. Right out of the box, we have our sealed bars in there, making sure to keep that freshness in straight from the factory. The deck, the fork, the headset, everything comes assembled for you, already compressed, ready to roll. And they even include a owner's manual and one Allen wrench that you can fully assemble your scooter with. Ooh, look at that. Ah, that new scooter smell. All right, the beast is free at last. All you're gonna need to do, maybe check the tightness of your headset, you want about half rotation. You're gonna need to loosen the clamp just a little bit. Comes with a little bit of tension on it to make sure it's not bumping around in the box, getting all scratched. Slide the bars on. No resistance here. Super easy. Child can do it. Child could do it on the floor. Align the bars and the wheel right there. Well, that's tight. Once you have your wheel and your bars aligned, go ahead and tighten down the bolts on your clamp, being careful to put it all the way in, as well as not clamping down on one bolt all the way. You wanna get it snug, move on to the next, and cycle back and forth between them. This will take care of your clamp, make sure it has a long life, and keep it shredding all through your scooter career. Built it up in about two minutes, including unwrapping everything. And uh, now we're gonna go into details about the specs. We have really nice rubber grips here. Uh, new design from them. These are gonna come on the Prodigy and the KOS line as well. Nylon bar ends that should be really strong, take quite a few impacts. And these are placed directly onto a polished pair of Envy Reaper bars. These are full aluminum, so really light. Going down, polished bars right into an a, uh, oil slick. MB two bolt clamp and really nice this year they're putting in six millimeter hex heads that's going to keep you guys out there from rounding out the heads on your bolts right there if you're trying to crank it down make sure to do what i said tighten one at a time that's keeping tight on your ihc sob v3 fork this means it's uh, basically mini hic uh, allows you to run aluminum bars standard inner diameter oversized outer diameter and keeping everything really nice lightweight you're gonna be rolling on two 120 millimeter oil slick wheels right here, 86A uh, hardness for the urethane, so really good for park, also really hard for street, uh, keep you rolling through anything. These forks can also accommodate up to 125 millimeter in case you get a new pair of wheels that's a little bit bigger. The deck you're gonna be running on is 4.7 inches wide, 19.9 inches long, with still plenty of foot space for any bigger riders. So that's the highest graphic right there, beautiful script, keeping it looking nice, so your friends all know what you're rolling on when you're doing tail ups nine feet over their head. Envy's just now brought, uh, brought the nylon brake as well to their stock line. It's got a steel insert to try to keep everything nice and strong, as well as a single brake bolt, but it's gonna have a fatter head than your normal brake bolt. Uh, looks like it's gonna be a five millimeter, might even be six, let's check that. Yeah, so that's a five millimeter brake bolt there. That's gonna be really nice, keep you from stripping out your brake bolt. I know I've had problems before. Uh, still just be careful with it, don't over tighten it. It's aluminum, really easy to round it out. And that's our whole scooter right here. Uh, going back up to the bars, cause I know you guys are gonna be dying to know how wide these are gonna come. They're gonna come almost 23 wide and they are 25.6 inches tall. So they're really good height, come in stock complete. They're full two, maybe three inches taller than their last year's line. And uh, for the price range, which is $280, this is uh, top dog right here. All aluminum, oil slick, chrome, polished, really good looking. Be sure to like this video, like our other two KOS unboxings, subscribe like I know you already did. You have yourself a great day, YouTube. Bye.